Yo guys, welcome to the channel Pierre Tills Meta. In today's video, we'll be discussing one of the most notorious serial killers in the history of America. That is the Boston Strangler. Now for that, let's get straight into the video. According to records, the Boston Strangler was responsible for the murders of 18 women in the Boston area between 1962 and 1964. His victims ranged between age 19 and 85. All of them were found strangled in their homes. The Boston Strangler had a unique perspective in the secures his victim their homes. It's a piece of nothing. The first victim for the Boston Strangler, according to report and was a Anna Slisa, a 55 year old woman who was found in June of 1962. Over the next two years, more women were found under similar circumstances. They were all strangled with articles of clothing and saw so have been sexually assaulted. The killer would go on to strike again and again, which would leave the entire city of Boston reeling and on edge, as nobody knew when the Boston Strangler was going to strike or what the next victim of the Boston Strangler would be. Despite extensive investigations by law enforcement, the killer was able to evade capture for years and the case remains one of the most infamous unsolved mysteries in American history. Now, one of the most famous fascinating aspects of the Boston Strangler case is the controversy which surrounded the identity of the killer. Albert DeSalvo, a convicted rapist and handyman, confessed to the killings in 1965. His confession has since been called into question by many experts and investigators as there are so many inconsistencies in the confession. Some believe that the Salvo may have been a copycat killer, taking credit for the crimes he did not commit in order to gain notoriety. Others believe that he may have been involved in some of the murders, but not strongly all of them, and that they may have been multiple killers operating in the Boston area at the time. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the case, one thing is crystal clear. The Boston Strangler left a lasting impact on the city of Boston and the entire country. The killer's brutal crimes inspired a number of books, movies, and TV shows, and his legacy continues to fascinate true crime enthusiasts to this day. Well, that's the video for today. Thank you for joining us as we explore the case of the Boston Strangler. Although the killer's identity may never be known for sure, we can always continue to learn from this tragic chapter in American history and work to prevent similar crimes from happening in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more true content.